Even though it seems like the chaos has subsided when it comes to Halloween Horror Nights here in Orlando, they just made a big announcement for a new ticket offering coming to the event this year. Today, not at 10.33 a.m., Halloween Horror Nights announced a brand new ticket option coming to Orlando's event called the Premium Scream Night. And with that, we got a bunch of details as to what this event is going to entail. So in this video, I'm going to break down the announcements, the details that were provided, talk about this interesting new update because I have a lot of my own thoughts when it comes to this Premium Scream Night. Now we do have a press release with more specific details, but I first wanted to talk about the description provided by Halloween Horror Nights themselves. The description reads, Get ready, Premium Scream Night, August 29th. Everything you love about Halloween Horror Nights but with limited capacity, shorter wait times, haunted house entry staggered by group, select all you care to enjoy food, and more. Details and tickets on sale June 6th. So as you can see, there is a lot to break down here. We know that this is happening before the event officially opens. Halloween Horror Nights 33 officially begins on August 30th. And as you can see by this description, the main highlights are the shorter wait times, the pulsed entry into the haunted houses, which is unusual for Halloween Horror Nights Orlando and even Hollywood for that matter, as well as the all you care to enjoy food, which is another big highlight because a lot of people love to go to Halloween Horror Nights to try the food. While that's what the official Horror Nights social medias gave us, we have a few more details found in the official press release, including the price for this offering. It says here, ticket holders will also enjoy everything fans love about the world's premier Halloween event in a more intimate experience, limited capacity, shorter wait times, staggered entry by group into the haunted houses so everyone will fall prey to the scares lurking at every turn. That's a big thing with Halloween Horror Nights is that when you're going in the sort of conga line fashion that you're used to, you may not get all the scares you might get a bad run and if you're only at the event for one night that could really make or break your opinion on a haunted house if you just don't have a good run through it so by pulsing groups you kind of guarantee that everyone is going to get that scare a selection of all you care to enjoy food items created by universal's award-winning culinary team and inspired by this season's haunts as well as non-alcoholic beverages i expect this to be very similar to the taste of terror event they had at last year's halloween horror nights where they had a sampler of a bunch of different food items you can get at the event. I'm guessing these aren't going to be full-size portions, and I'm also guessing they're not going to have everything that's available at the event, but I'm sure your highlights will be featured at this premium scream night. Also, side note, I hope this means we're getting more specialty non-alcoholic beverages at the event this year. Of course, alcohol is a big thing at Halloween Horror Nights, but I really hope they have more options for those of us who don't really like to drink. Either you can't drink because you're underage, or just you're not interested, or for a myriad of different reasons, you don't want alcohol. I hope this doesn't just mean like sodas and like regular non-alcoholic drinks, and these are specialty non-alcoholic drinks. A lot like the Surfer Boy Punch from last year, for example. I'm guessing this is kind of taking the place of the Taste of Terror because it does combine a lot of those offerings in with the other stuff, but only time can tell, maybe we will get a Taste of Terror for those who are just interested in the food, but having the all-you-can-eat food is a good perk to pair alongside the limited capacity and pulsed haunted house entry. You also get an exclusive event souvenir, credential, and lanyard. I'm guessing this is going to be a pin, a lot like what you get for the Unmasking the Horror Tour, access to select attractions at Universal Studios Florida, and free self-parking on the night of the event. But now, folks, we get to the pricing for these tickets. And on the press release, it reads, Tickets for the Halloween Horror Nights Premium Scream Night event are limited and will be available for purchase online beginning June 6th for $350 plus tax. Universal Annual and Seasonal Pass holders can purchase tickets for the discounted price of $325 plus tax. So anywhere from $325 to $350 for this experience. This does kind of line up almost with like an RAP tour when it comes to price. Although you're not getting a guided entry through the haunted houses, you're basically getting that sort of front of the line pass depending on how many people they admit into this event plus the food and whatever exclusive goodies you get alongside it. I think this is the biggest thing holding me back from doing it. I don't think I'm going to do that this year. I'd rather spend the money on upgrading my frequent fear or buying Unmasking the Horror Tours rather than doing this night when the event is going to open quite literally the next day. I also think the timing of this is interesting, putting this right before the event. I definitely think maybe this could be a test for extending this if it's popular, if it's successful, maybe they do more nights like this. Really, I think this would have worked the best if it was slapped like in the middle of October, once we already knew what the crowds were like, once we already knew what the lines were like. 
add this little offering on maybe a Monday or Tuesday for those who wanted to bypass that and get a more intimate Halloween Horror Nights experience. Simply put, if you're only coming to Halloween Horror Nights for one night, I might look into this. I think this is a really cool idea. It's a really cool event concept. It brings a lot of things that we've been asking for. All you can eat food, pulsed house entry, limited capacity. This sounds like a dream come true for a lot of Halloween Horror Nights fans. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think of this premium screen? night are you gonna be going for this when it goes on sale on June 6th are you in love with this idea are you not really a fan of it let me know all your thoughts about the premium scream night in the comments below honestly I wasn't planning on making this video but I had a lot of thoughts when it came to this Halloween Horror Nights premium scream night and I did want to let y'all know that this is out there for people who are interested in it if you like videos like this about Halloween Horror Nights of the past present and future updates about this year's event be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel it would really help me out let me know you like the these kind of videos and want me to make more of them. Next video is not Halloween Horror Nights related, it's actually related to the Summer Tribute Store for this year. It should be coming out in a couple days, so get excited for that one. But as always, I will see y'all in the next one. Stay spooky, and take care everybody.